Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad and today we are looking at a 2014 GMC Sierra and I'm going to be showing you how to remove the grill. To get started, we're going to remove the fender flares, the trim around your fender well. You need to make sure you remove this bolt at the bottom of the fender flare before you start trying to remove anything or you will break all the clips and it is a 13 millimeter socket. And this particular model has some star Torx bits and it has one, two, three, uh, four, and five. So go ahead and remove those on both sides of the truck. If it's really tight, you can also turn the wheels on the truck to provide yourself more room to work. To remove the bumper fascia, you're gonna have to remove a seven millimeter bolt from right here under the top. So the plastic pulls straight out here and loosens from the front. When we're removing the front fascia up under the truck, you can see the tabs that are holding it on. If you take a penny and insert it between the tab the clip tab and the tab from the fascia, then it'll be easier to pull off on the front. Once you get the lower bumper guard removed, you then have to remove this radiator cover and it has hog nose clips all the way down the front and the back of it. And so you need to remove all of those so that you can remove this entire plastic piece here. The way these are made is the center piece pops up and then the whole thing lifts out. They sell a tool that looks similar to this. You can get it at most auto parts stores or it'll come with a kit with replacement um, pins as well. Um, so I have this, but if you don't have the tool, then you can use two flathead screwdrivers. You just get one in from one side and start prying it up, get another one in on the other side and lift that top piece up and it works the same way as the tool does. So go ahead and get all these removed and then you'll be able to lift this piece off the truck. So you take this tool and slide it under and lift up the top and then you come back into the bottom and the whole thing just slides right out. So this is what the piece looks like and it's locked whenever the top pushes down into it like this and it pushes out the side so they won't come out. With all the hog nose clips out, it just lifts off and you set it to the side. The next step is to remove the grill mount bolts. There's one, two, three, four on the top. And then one, two, three, four on the bottom. And they are 10 millimeter sockets. With the eight bolts removed, if you lift up on the bottom, it'll pop out. And then the whole grill just lifts off the truck. So lift from the bottom and pull the whole thing away from the truck and lay it down on a soft surface. Next you remove the inner grill with these seven millimeter screws all the way around. Once you get all the screws removed from the inner grill, it simply lifts off of the rest of the grill and just lay it to the side. This is the finished look after the install was completed. Uh, it was a lot more challenging than we initially anticipated because you had to do some cutting and some drilling. And this is the Rough Country Mesh Grill on a GMC Sierra.